just how bad is the debt crisis here in the United States? Boston University professor Larry Kotlikoff says it is time to quote unquote get real. The U.S. isn't just worse off than Greece. It's bankrupt. This is the thrust of his Bloomberg op-ed today. Professor Kotlikoff is with us from Boston this morning. Larry, a very good morning to you. Worse off than Greece. Thank you. Bankrupt even. I think we need a little explanation. Well, there's a study that's come out with the IMF or by the IMF, which shows that you need to c come up with 14% of GDP to pay for our, all our bills at the federal level on an ongoing basis. So this year you need 14% more of GDP, either in tax hikes or spending cuts. Next year you need 14% of next year's GDP, and on and on through the end of time. That's a big problem, and that's coming from the International Monetary Fund. All right. Larry, I, ha I have to be a bit of a skeptic here, and I'm letting the markets be my guide. The two-year yield, 49 basis points. The 10-year yield, 272 basis points, 2.72 percent. Those don't look like the kinds of yields you'd see if anyone believed the U.S. couldn't pay its bills, if it was effectively bankrupt. How do you reconcile that? Well, housing prices didn't look like the kind of housing prices we have today. You know, if you go back to 2006. So the market is very good at getting things wrong. And uh, what's going on here is you have a systematic failure of disclosure of what's really happening on the fiscal side. The uh, Clinton administration is not really focusing on these long-term projections, uh, although the CBO came out back in June. And if you really add things up, you get a, the same kind of picture, if not worse, from the CBO. Uh, the Bush administration, uh, censored this kind of analysis when they were in office. The Clinton administration censored it. The IMF has tucked this study into uh, the black back recesses of its uh, uh, U.S. Uh, review. So it's, it's not, uh, you know, governments uh, and international organizations don't want to put out bad news. Is, is they that don't want to, to put say, out I mean, the they, truth. Okay, they don't want to put out bad news. Nobody does. But is that to say that they are effectively lying to us? Yeah, they're effectively lying to us. There's no question about it. Uh, the deficit on which, you're f on which people are focused and then the official debt is really a small fraction of the over $200 trillion shortfall that the government is facing, the fiscal gap. And this is just coming straight out of the CBO's own projections. Just add, the, add up the difference between spending and revenues, present value that, and you have $200 trillion. Good That's morning, everybody. Larry, Larry, we've got about 90 seconds to go. I want you to do two things with that time left. I want you to tell us what the policy response needs to be here, and I want you to tell us what's going to happen if we don't do the right things. I mean, your apocalyptic vision, as it were. <clears throat> well, the policy response is to get immediate control on the spending because that's been exploding. So you need to have a comprehensive health care reform that will give people vouchers subject to a budget constraint, and the vouchers would be individual specific. So that would do a huge amount to get our fiscal act in order. You need a comprehensive, low-rate uh, consumption tax that's progressive, get rid of the current tax structure. It's really, you know, scleroric. And then you need to have a fundamental Social Security reform that gets us into the 20th century, 21st century. So there are things we can do, but we are in uh, deep dido. All right. Uh, and Larry, what happens if we don't do them? Very quickly, with 10 seconds left, just how bad does it get? I think you're going to see those bond prices head, head south dramatically, and I think the bond traders will ultimately wake up. Usually it takes a two-by-four across their head to figure it out. And what happens to the this U.S. citizen? What happens to people who are subject to the whims of the market? Well, we're, we're gradually heading towards uh, Brazil, or to, not to Brazil. Brazil is doing well. We're gradually heading towards Argentina. So. Over time, the taxes will go up, people will have Larry, you know, spending cuts that they didn't expect, and you'll have problems. Larry, we have to run. That's Larry Kotlikoff of Boston University.